Hello, this is Andrew. This is my third episode of Modifying the Move Shoot Move. I'm going to show you something else that I've, I've uh, done. This is using my 3D printer. One of the problems that you've got with the Move Shoot Move is things wanting to unwind themselves as you're attaching equipment to them. Down the bottom of the Move Shoot Move here, I have a quick release plate which goes onto the wedge, but around it, I have this 3D printed plastic little bracket. I'll take it off and show you it in just a moment. But that bracket stops this guy from un twisting, and un -turning, uh, twisting and turning. So it gives you a really solid, reliable connection. So you don't end up with the, the potential for a weight out here trying to unscrew your plate. I'll be back in a moment with this turned off so you can see what it is. Okay, so I've just taken the quick, quick release plate off and that's my 3D printed plastic. So I've just measured the, the size of this and the size of the um, quick release plate and just printed that little structure there. And that's all it needs. You don't need a lot of strength there because it's just to stop it from twisting and that is more than enough to uh, uh, prevent the thing from talking and moving when, you, when you're not wanting it to. Okay, so just a quick addendum to the uh, to the video. The, 3D printed bracket I, I did here to uh, prevent the bracket from uh, the plate from talking and rotating on, on the base. I've done the same thing for the bottom of the camera. So it's a little bit different, it's a little more customised because uh, I've, I've made that to fit my A6400 which I'm using to film this so I can't show you on that. But this is an A6000 which is almost identical and that guy will fit on there with the mounting plate, the, the Arca Swiss type plate screwed through onto the bottom of the camera. I've made it as thin as possible on, on that profile, just so that I'm not putting too much t stress on just a couple of threads there.